Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about Meta Honey Alginate. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So Meta Honey Alginate is a medical grade Manuka honey and it has an antimicrobial effect due to its low pH. So it does have a pH of 3.2 to 4.5 and it has a high osmolarity. So indications for use. So because it is an antimicrobial, we are going to use it for wounds with signs and symptoms of a local infection. Okay, um, and we can also use this for wounds with a moderate to large amount of exudate. So we're looking for signs and symptoms of infection with moderate to large amounts of exudate. So um, because we have that alginate, it does absorb well, um, even though it is coated in the Manuka honey um, or medical grade honey, it still absorbs, okay? Um, a precaution is because of its low pH, it can cause stinging. So if it causes stinging to the patient um, and something that continues and is really irritating to them, um, definitely discontinue using this product. Um, all honeys, they can cause that stinging sensation. Um, if it's bugging a patient, we need to get rid of it. Um, contraindications, so we're not going to use this on patients that have an allergy to honey or alginate products. We're not going to use this on full thickness burns, and we're not going to use this to control heavy bleeding. So to prepare the wound to apply the MetaHoney Alginate, first we're going to cleanse with normal saline and dry the peri wound, okay? Um, you can apply a skin barrier to the peri wound if it's needed. Um, and then to apply, so we're going to cut the MetaHoney Alginate to the size of the wound and apply it to the wound bed, okay? Um, you're going to ensure that the honey is in contact with all the areas, okay? So it does, you can kind of mold it into the wound. Um, and then just apply an appropriate cover dressing to maintain that moisture balance in the wound, okay? So we're always looking for a just moist wound. To remove um, the Meta Honey Alginate, you're just going to gently lift off the dressing uh, from the wound bed using forceps um, or your little tweezers. Um, if the primary dressing is adhering to the wound, just flush it with normal saline and it should loosen, okay? Um, you might have to saturate it and just let it sit for five minutes, but it does come off uh, quite well. The frequency of dressing change is going to completely depend on the amount of exudate or drainage coming from the wound. So this product is good for up to seven days. So that's the uh, antimicrobial wear time. It's good for seven days on the tissue as long as the honey remains in contact with the wound bed. Okay, so it's not diluted or washed away by an excess amount of exudate. Okay, so it just really depends on how much drainage is coming from that wound. Um, the expected outcome of using the Meta Honey Alginate is that the signs and symptoms of local infection are resolved within two weeks and that the exudate is being managed without peri wound maceration. Okay, so we're always looking for that just moist wound. Um, so if we're having the maceration, it's not a good thing because that can make a wound get larger. Uh, so we wanna protect that peri wound. Um, so it is available in different sizes. So we have different size sheets and then we also have it in the ribbon form. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you did find it uh, informational and to help you within your practice. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel as I do put out these educational videos all the time um, and it does truly help my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next one.